Hi, my name's Gemma. I'm at RMIT and I'm currently completing my PhD in chemistry uh, and I'm specialising in the field of metabenomics. Metabenomics is able to give us a snapshot of how healthy a living organism is and we can do this by measuring the fats, the sugars and other metabolites that are present under particular conditions such as diseases. Um, the idea of metabenomics actually isn't that new. The main change has been how we process the data. So what we do is we take a sample, um, it's, this is usually a biological fluid such as urine or plasma and we analyse this in an analytical um, instrument such as nuclear magnetic resonance or NMR. We then use computer aided pattern recognition techniques to identify the profiles or the fingerprints that have been associated with, like the example I gave before, with the disease. As an example, we can study the effects of pollutants on fish. So what we do is we compare plasma samples of fish in a healthy environment to that of fish in a polluted environment. By the patterns identified in the spectra, we can establish which metabolites have been affected by the pollutants in the environment. So the analytical um, instrument that we use is nuclear magnetic resonance or NMR. And basically the idea of NMR is that we have a magnetic field and we put the sample in the magnetic field and it can absorb the radiation in terms of radio waves. We end up getting these quite large data sets because we have so many different metabolites in biological processes. So what my job is, is to simplify this data and be able to draw out the most important information because normally we've either changed the conditions of the biological sample or we've either got a disease in the sample so we want to try and draw out what are the metabolites that are changing in this sample. So it's an exciting time to be studying chemistry. Um, in order to understand all the biological processes from the metabolites, we have to understand the um, spectroscopy, which has been studied at RMIT under advanced spectroscopy uh, unit un in the undergraduate course. And also um, I've been able to learn um, the pattern recognition techniques from my honours course, which has been under the unit of chemometrics. And by doing honours, you'll learn the techniques on how to analyse the results that is produced from advanced spectroscopy. Future research at RMIT will be looking at wine science, exercise science and ecotoxicology studies.